Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you the demo of live classes by Hummingbird Education Limited. Hummingbird Education Limited is listed on Bombay Stock Exchange. We have served more than 10,000 schools in more than 11 countries so far with our school management software, international Olympiads and the biggest international spell B examination. Now to pursue with the live classes, I will log in to the ERP. We are providing you the school management software with 100% customizations and 100% white label support. Now I will log in to this ERP with the admin ID. This is a complete school management software with more than 35 modules managing your entire school. We have communication bar over here where you can send emails, SMS, notice board, classwork, homework, Varta and we have settings panel and similarly we have more than 35 modules where you can manage your complete school. Apart from that, now let me quickly come to the live class module over here. In this live class module, you can either create a class or you can join a already created class. Now, when I create a class over here, I'll show you how I create a class. If I am the admin or the principal of the school, I can create a class for any teacher. But if the teacher logs in from their own ID and password, they will be able to create the class for themselves. Now, let me create a class. Topic name, demo, video. There is no limit to the maximum number of students. You can have any number of students over here. Now, let me say, if I, if I have my class with 50 students, so let me enter 50 over here. Meeting duration, you can have as long meeting as you can. But let us say we have a class for 50 minutes. I'll put 50. The start date, it's and the start time. Now, I have kept the class uh, start date and start time. You can invite as many classes as you can. Now, for example, if you want to invite more than one section, you can select like that. Otherwise, you can select a particular class and section like that. When you click on save and close, See, your class has been created successfully. This is Miss Anjana. Number of users start on 1st June. Time is 7.5. Duration 50 minutes. And we have a link for start meeting. Now, as in when I create a link for start meeting, students will get immediate intimation to join the class. Now, when I join a class, when I click on join a class, my virtual classroom is open. So I have to quickly go ahead with uh, audio test. Audio yeah. test successfully done. The only person in this conference. Now this audio test is already done. Now I, I can see the name of the school appearing over here, the topic of the demo and my students. I have a student also available over here. Right? So now I will quickly go ahead and show you how this live class work. This is your virtual classroom. Now consider like you know you have a physical classroom what all features you had in a physical classroom. See a teacher go to a class they see the students students are able to see the teacher and the teacher is able to explain everything to the students. Now first of all I'll show you the facilities. The first option start recording. You can record your complete meeting, complete class over here by clicking over here, right? Apart from that, you can share your webcam. Now, the software is built in such a way that you can manage your entire internet consumption over here. If you have your uh, internet quality, like, uh, sorry, internet at a very low speed, then you can click on low quality. And if you want your internet to be consumed in a very less manner, then you can select low quality. If you don't have any internet issues, you can select on high definition. Click on start sharing. And as a teacher, my video will start come over here. See, 
I am a teacher and now I my students are able to see me very soon yeah my student has also joined in so very soon I am able to see my students also here so this is how uh, we go ahead with the live classes and my webcam is working over here I will switch off the webcam to show you the other functionalities so now I can share my screen over here I have the facility to share my entire screen or my particular application window or a particular Chrome tab if I wish to share only one Chrome tab and I don't want my students to see what else I am doing on my tabs I can share that now I'll show you the best option over here this is my digital class board this is what I have been missing this is what my teachers have been doing since last 10 15 20 years of their teaching experience they have been teaching the students with this board now I can type over the board I have got my board back my students are able to see this board I have many facilities over here I can write I can type and I have other options as well I can draw the diagrams I have the different different tools available over here I can zoom in zoom out plus now I can increase the font size over here further I want to increase I can do that I can change the color so just like we operate on our board just like we make the notes in our diary a teacher can beautifully explain all the concepts to the students using this board different colors different styles and the students come to know about everything herein I have the undo option or you can complete the uh, completely delete this board using this button now the option available at the last in my tools is multi-user see like you know if any student wants to write my student is writing on the board over here if I want to switch off this multi-user my student will not be able to write now it would be only the teacher which who would be able to write over here this is so good so simple and perfect now this is what my students have been missing for many days this is what my teachers have been missing for many days and I am through with my board welcome students now I'll go ahead and I'll show you the other features of this application where you are going to enjoy the features the teachers are going to love this share an external video now the teachers don't have to download the video they can just share the link of the video over here and the video will start running over here the video is going on on this video you'll not find the name of the website from where this video has come up you'll not uh, you'll not be able to uh, like you know disclose the name of the website you can take your uh, video from any website anywhere don't download just take the link and this, this will stream over here you can, you can play you can pause you can take it back you can explain it to all the students now this is how my audio video classes have started going ahead I have the other options I can stop this video now I'm coming to one of the best part of this demo if my teacher does not have any particular presentation video audio nothing they can upload anything over here let us say if the teachers want to upload a PDF file they don't have to create a presentation they don't have to create uh, uh, any video you can have this uploaded option uh, like you know download option enabled you can upload this and your PDF file will convert and you will be able to see a perfect video available over here this how see this is the download option where the students can click and download hello students today's topic is hummingbird listed on Bombay Stock Exchange Prime Minister Modi and all the points explained I can go to the next slide I can explain like this 
I can go ahead with a pens, colors. I can use different different colors. And point by point, page by page, I can explain everything to my students. Now, let us say I am a teacher. I don't have any resource, no PDF, no Word file, no Excel file, nothing. Then what to do? Then if a teacher has a book with in her hand, the teacher can upload the image of the book over here. Let us say. The teacher click the photograph of that particular page. Okay. After clicking the photograph from her phone, she can upload the photograph of that page over here. Right. Now, this is called book teaching. My students have the books with them. My teacher has the book page in front of them. And my teacher can explain the complete book. This how. Students, we will study page number one today. Topic of the day is live classes. I can change the color. This is the definition. This is the image diagram we need to study. These are the point wise features. These features are very important for the examinations. So point by point, page by page. Now I am very happy explaining each and every point. My students can download this if I have enabled the download option. Otherwise, my uh, like you know, I can lock the download option. Now, these are the features where we have enabled the teachers, empowered the teachers with the features like audio, video, physical class board, digital whiteboard, upload a presentation, external videos, audios and any resource, whatever resource they have, any resource they can upload over here. Now, I have many options. I would like to make the students very interactive in this meeting. Obviously, like you know, the class is complete only when the students are very much interactive, if they are interested in the education. I want my students to be very much interested over here. How to create interest in education? I have polling option over here. As a teacher, since the attendance is automatic, I don't have to take the attendance. I don't have to ask the students to rename their devices. The students will join in their name. Attendance is done automatically. So I have complete 40 minutes of my class of teaching. Now, if I ask a question, suppose my topic is elephants. I ask a question. Hello students. How many legs does an elephant have? The option is A, B, C, D. A option is 1. Option B is 2. Option C is 3. Option D is 4. My student will now this how they will get the response over here they can give their responses i will come to know which student has marked what response and i can publish the polling result this how i get the my class in a very appropriate manner in a disciplined manner my class is now interacting with me my students are very interactive in the class that yes my teacher is now performing very well and I have to perform very well. Now I, my teacher is teaching me in the perfect manner and I am very attentive. I am now able to see everything, enjoy everything and if I do not respond to the teacher, then my teacher is going to catch hold of me. So the students are very interactive. They like this polling option. They are very happy getting their board back, getting their interactions back and everything. You can customize this polling option by giving different options over here. One, two, three, four. Suppose like, you know, this is how you want to give the options. Otherwise, you want to customize it. Let us say you can enter any queries and my students will have a poll. They will reply like this and I can publish the polling result anytime. As a teacher, I get a feedback of what my students are doing in the class. And as a student, I am in, I have started enjoying the class. Now, I can, I have a public chat option where I can speak to all the students over here. I can ask them to post their queries. The students can post their queries over here. This is a public chat. Whatever I write, whatever students write are visible to everyone. I have a control over here. I'll show you the controls. 
Before that, I'll show you this is the public chat option. I have a we have a private chat. Now private chat, I can start a private chat with any student. I can ask him, hello student. Kindly do not make noise. Now this how I can ask the student privately to do not make the noise and my student will be able to get my message in private. Apart from this public chat and private chat, I have the shared notes option with me. Shared notes are basically the class notes. While teaching a particular class, I can create the notes over here. They have four legs, two eyes, one tail and this how I can create the complete notes. Now what if I have, like, I have prepared the class notes, I have taught the students, I can download the class notes in a PDF file or a notepad file. Let us say I have downloaded the notepad file over here. See whatever I have written in the class notes, I have this in my notepad file. What to do now? I can go to my ERP in my classwork. I can log in. I can just send them a message over here. Classwork date, subject elephant, content. I can select my class and section. I can upload the document. These were my class notes. I have uploaded it. Now I will click on send and close. Done. So this is how my class notes are with the students. So the most important aspect of getting a class notes, getting taught by the teachers through the board, through audio, through video. This is how everything is done. Now I'll show you what else can be done over here. I can make a student, any student a presenter over here. This is how. I can promote the student as a moderator or if I wish to remove the student, I can do that. If I wish to make the student, this student a presenter, I will click here and the control of the board will go to this particular student and the student will be able to explain the complete topic over here. Anytime when I wish to take the control of my student, I can just click over here, take the presenter option and I am again the presenter of the meeting. I have all the controls, right? I can clear all the status icons. I can mute all the users, mute all the users except presenter. I can save all the students who are in the presentation, who are in this class. I can lock the users with various features. This is share webcam. I can lock the webcam. I can lock the student's webcam. I can lock the microphone for all the students. I can lock the public chat messages, private chats, shared notes. And finally, if I want my students to see me and I am looking at my students, but I don't want my students to see each other. I can just simply lock. I can just apply and then my students will not be able to see each other. These are the controls which we have. Now this is what my live classes have done so far. On a summarized note, I'll show you what all things we have done. We have recorded this meeting. I can record, I can pause, I can play, right? I have the settings. I can make it full screen. I can do anything with my live class right now. I have taught the students through board, through audio, through video. My students are being helped by the polling option. They are interactive. My class is now very much disciplined. In a disciplined manner, I have conducted my whole class. I'm very happy. Now, let us consider a scenario. This class happened very properly. What will happen after few months? I have done this class for the students. I have done many classes in the coming months for the students. Now, if in the month of October, let us say my student forgot this topic. How will, be help, how will he help himself with the topic? He cannot disturb the teachers. He cannot go out from his house. Then what? Since this meeting is recorded, the students will go again back to the class notes 
he can pursue this complete class once again and he will achieve academic excellence. He will be able to revise everything. He will be able to see the class notes and my child is a happy child. So this way I can go ahead and I can have a proper class. Apart from that, this is about the life classes. Now I am coming to the most important part of this presentation. This is what like we absolutely understand that this is so this software is being operated by the teachers and the students in India we do not have laptops in each and every house we do not have a good Wi-Fi unlimited internet connection in each every house we have a mobile phone with a limited bandwidth this software is such a lightweight application that if a teacher has let us say eight classes in a day a teacher may be able to conduct all eight classes with maximum to maximum 300 to 400 MB of internet. This is such a light application. Now my teachers are happy. My students are happy. My school is monitored. Let me come to the administration part. If I am using this software, I have the complete reports with me. What kind of reports I have? Now I have the record of all the classes which happened on which date, which time, which what was the topic, which teacher took the class, for which class and section it was, how many students were there in the class, how many were present and how many were absent. As I can see that only one student was there in my class present. That's why one attendees and 36 were absent. Apart from that, we have the other reports. As I told you that we have automatic attendance. All the attendance reports you can download from here. I'll just show you a sample report. Let us say we have a, I want to see the class second A attendance report. I'll click on download. I will have the complete report of my students. Roll number wise class uh, students are arranged. Okay. Now this how on this particular date I had my computer class and my Hindi class on this date I had this on this date I had this which all students were absent or present in the particular classes. I have that record. I have that data with me. Apart from that you can manage all the statistics absent report student attendance statistics staff attendance class and section wise attendance statistics school wise to overall attendance record everything is available with you now we have a homework module where a teacher can upload a homework it will go to the students where the students can check the homework they can submit the homework as and when the student send their homework the teacher will have the detail that this particular class and section got this homework teacher can check the homework for all the students for this class, only one student has submitted the homework. What was the homework? Student has written this. They have sent the attachment. I can download this. I can check it. If the homework is okay, I can put my remarks and I can click on save. If the homework is not okay, I can ask the students to resubmit. The homework was not good. Kindly resubmit. I can click on save. If I ask the student to resubmit the homework, the student will be again getting my remarks and student would have to resubmit this homework. I have the reports of the homework student wise what homework was sent to the students and what homework was submitted by him. Teacher wise what what all homework has been sent by the teachers and what uh, like you know how much of the homework is being checked by the teachers. So I have all the reports. So this how I have managed my complete school with the online classes. My online classes is successfully done. I have been able to successfully complete with the classes, the classwork, the homework, the attendance. Thank you very much. You have a great day and thank you so much for your time watching this video.